maybe. Maybe. Okay. Okay, we'll continue. Ready, Ben? I think maybe my answers are wrong. So, uh, this, the first question we use, uh, I mean, the, uh, the, 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 the star from No, the other one. The awesome. other one. Yeah. So it is. If my answers are wrong, I'll do them in the tutorial, okay? We can see. Yeah, Ben? Continue, Ben? For which question? Hmm, that's like me. I got 2.9. How, how do you get the 0 0.01? Uh, I cosine that will. Omega. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's x. Yeah. yeah. I think you must have used the formula for sine. Yeah. Yeah. Sign, uh, but no, no, no. Sign. I I tried. It's yeah, I, I tried. <laughs> I tried. This, uh, the cosine is uh, is bigger than his answer. He got the right answer. Yeah. But I, 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 in the first time I used this, and um, but the cosine. But I, my answer is uh, forty nine. I, mm. I remember. It's okay. I'll do it in the tutorial. We'll we'll go through it. Why do you use? Use time. Time is 0.1. Is 0.1? Yeah. No, no, no. The time is 0 0.5. Where? Because the frequency is 2. Okay. But after 0.1. Oh, sorry. Yeah, after 0.1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. I'll do it. I'll do it next time. We'll have to continue now, Summer. Maybe you try last time. Last time. Okay, okay, go on. <laughs> well, go, go, didn't come, come, come back. I know, but we'll have to continue without her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shall we continue? Yeah. Okay, okay. The pendulum, if you can write this down. No, I want you to learn the form of this part. They're important. All right, did you write that down? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. No, 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 we're waiting for Ben. The and you love. Okay, great. Now, Summer, Ben, yeah. do you know this word? No, no. You know this word? Can you guess? Well, let's see. He's going to guess. Let's see. <laughs> no looking at the picture. Right, the pendulum is like this. Like, like in a know. clock. You know. He knows this word. Yeah. Yeah. And grandfather clock. This was one. Like this. This, this, one. this is a pendulum. Who are you? You know this. I miss this class. Yes. Correct. And I was talking to him about it in the video. We were talking about pendulum. In oh. the grandfather clock. Yeah. 
Remember we were talking about this? He remembers that he wasn't there. <laughs> he remembers and he wasn't there and you don't remember and you were there. Uh, I am Carl. Yeah, He's you were sick. Yeah. Yeah. For me. Yeah. Yeah. This is terrible. No, this is no, terrible. This summer. is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Right, pendulum is the thing that moves like this in the grandfather clock. Yeah. Yeah, so um, you have a bob that moves left and right. Here's the equilibrium, okay, and here's the angle. And this here, frictionless, no friction, smooth, okay. And this here, we say, has no mass, massless. And then here, all the mass. Okay, so like this is zero kilograms and this is some kilograms. And the amplitude, the amplitude is from here to here or here to here. So this is simple harmonic motion moving left and right. Yeah? So I think you should draw this. Draw this for me. <coughs> No mass. Thank you, Summer. Okay, you drew this? Not yet. Is the same lesson? No, or next lesson. Mm. Pendulum. Mm. I just see the same title. Uh, yes. So we are going to find a formula for this. Right, Summer? You know yeah. formulas? Yeah, yeah. Good, okay. So we'll find a formula for this. Yeah, I'm okay. For this pendulum. A oh. pendulum formula. Okay? <laughs> okay. 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 Let's look at this. Now, uh, I'll draw it here. So. Here's the pendulum, and um, it, it moves like this, back and forth, okay? And this here is theta, and this here is L, okay? And here is mass here. So, there is a force going down, as you know, which is mg, and we can resolve it this way and this way. Yeah. Now, if that's theta, then this angle here is also theta. And the reason is in maths, you know, if I have this and this and this, this angle is the same as that angle. Okay, that's the reason why. So that means this here is mg cos theta, and this one is mg sin theta. And this one here is... T tension. So T equals mg cos theta. And we don't care about that one. 
What we really care about is this one here, mg sine theta. Because if you look at this picture, now I know it's, I know it's moving like this, okay? But we can imagine roughly, roughly, it's moving like this. Simple harmonic motion. So this here, this mg sine theta is simple harmonic motion force. Now it's to the left, so I'll put in minus, because it's to the left. But we know that that's equal to, um, sorry, minus omega squared uh, x, or s, or whatever, okay? Because it's simple harmonic motion. Now, look at this, sine theta will roughly equal this. It's kind of roughly a straight line, roughly. So we'll call this here x. So it roughly equals x over l, roughly. Okay? So if I put that in here, I get minus omega squared x equals minus mg x over l. But I can cancel x and x minus and minus. So I get omega, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot there's an m here, because you know, f equals ma, which equals m, and the a is omega squared f, so it's m omega squared, yeah. So I can also cancel the m with the m here, so I get omega equals root g over l. But we know that t equals 2 pi over omega, so we get t equals 2 pi root l over g. And this is our pendulum formula for the time the pendulum takes the swing once. It's given by this formula, 2 pi root l over g. This is the formula for the pendulum. Have you seen this formula before? Or is this a new formula? No formula. It's new. Yeah. You don't maybe, do. Maybe we just use different unit. Like no, well, no, 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 it's new. It's new. It's new. Yeah. Okay. It's new. So you should write all of this down, please. Are you just L O G? Yeah. Okay. You get the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Now this only works only if theta is small, because you need this to be small so this is nearly straight. The you can't use the formula because it's not accurate. Well, what formula do you use? Uh, it's too advanced for this level. Yes, sir. So omega equals. Root G, G over L. G over L, but seeing in the... In yeah, the that's correct. It's T is 2 pi over oh. omega. Oh. Yeah. 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 New formula. So in Chinese physics, you don't do this lesson. Yeah, I don't do this. Interesting. Interesting. 
Stop with the Chinese. I want uh, only English. I I'm wondering what's that pun punju? Yes. Chinese lessons name. So I mm. won't know if we learn that or not. Do you know the Chinese for pendulum? You don't give us chance to talk. But you know pendulum because it's in the grandfather clock. Oh. oh. So just think about the Chinese word for this. You know grandfather clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in Chinese, what do you call the thing in the grandfather clock that goes like this? Okay. What's I, that called? I got it. I'm okay. thinking physics. Is there a lesson called this in physics? Is there in China? I see he doesn't think so, right? Yeah, we, yeah. we don't have lessons. Maybe not that important, I think. <laughs> Maybe just yeah. small lessons. Yes, yeah. just small lessons. The, the, the what? Yes. Yeah. Art. Art, yeah. Art. Yeah, art, correct. I remember we can calculate the art. Yes. You did this in physics in China? No, physics is. In maths? Maths. Yeah. And Khalifa, did you think you did this in physics? Maybe, yeah. Continue? Yeah. Yeah. So look, I let you use your calculator, tell me how long it would take to swing ten times. So get the time for one using the formula and then multiply by ten. One meter one meter pendulum. Swing in ten times. Yeah. What's wrong, Ben? What, what's it mean? <laughs> what's it mean? <laughs> it's 20. 20. Correct. 20. Ben. The formula I gave you for t is the swing once. Oh. So it's t equals 2 pi root 1 over 9.81. Okay. I want the time for 20. So that's t multiplied by 20. Oh, sorry, I think I said 10, wasn't it? Yeah. t for 10. So that's t multiplied by 10. So when you calculate this, what is it? 20 pi root 1 over 9.81, it's 20 seconds? Is it 20 yeah, seconds, yeah, yeah. you guys? 20 mm -hmm. seconds. Yeah. Is it? Are you sure? Do I believe you? I believe you, okay. Okay. You wrote this down? Okay. Now let me just see. Yes, yeah, good Jeff. Yeah, good. Huh? Uh that's the formula. Formula. Yeah, okay. that's the formula. Formula. Let me just think, is there another example here? Yes, no, no, no. No, I'm just checking something here. Um Oh yeah, so just before we continue, okay, some questions. This is L, this is M, and there's M, it's mass M. So, I want to know, uh, if I make the L bigger, what happens to the time? Bigger, smaller, or stays the same? Bigger. 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 Because of the formula. Yes. Yeah. If I make the n bigger, what happens at the time? No change. No change. No change. Because there's no m in the formula. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. That's a trick exam question. They ask you how does the time change. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, in real life though, you have something called dampen. Remember dampen? Slow down. Yeah. So it'll it will slow down and stop. Okay. So uh, in real life, if you have dampen and you increase the M, what would happen to the time? Longer. Shorter. Yeah. I think it's longer. Yeah. I think. Because what will happen is if the M is bigger, well, how is it? Uh, bi uh, it's it's just if the 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 bolt bolt weight yeah. weight is bigger, but the 
size. So size is different. Uh, it don't change. Yeah. It doesn't change. Uh, the time will be bigger, but the size will be more. Uh, maybe the time. Didn't this one's harder. Uh, yeah, let's think about it. Yeah. Will it move faster or slower if the mass is bigger? Slower. Faster. The, the size slower. didn't change. The size doesn't change. Change? Or didn't change. Yeah, the, the time will be, will be longer. Because I'm going to be shorter. Because it, if the mass is bigger, yeah. uh, won't it uh, you move quicker in the air? Yeah, move the quicker in the air. So that means the T is smaller? No. Yeah, if it moves quicker, the T is smaller. What's it? <laughs> yeah, look. If I keep the same size, but I make the mass bigger, then it will cut the air quicker. So it'll move faster. Yeah. So the time is bigger. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but the, yeah, I understand. I understand. So, like, if you look at a graph. So um, this is the t, and this is the time. Yeah. So. For the first one, maybe it's two seconds. So then, uh, when it swings the second time, it doesn't swing as far yeah. as, the first one. as the first one. So does that make the T bigger or smaller? Smaller. smaller. If so, if so. Yeah, because that's a shorter distance. Yeah, yeah so maybe the T, so I, I think, um, I think the time decreased, the periodic time gets smaller. Because yeah. if you think about it, when it comes to the end, the time should be very small. Yeah. It's just doing this. So I think in real life, this should keep getting smaller. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay, don't, uh, don't worry about it. Um, anything else I need to check with this? Yeah. But, but if if you put the, the, the bomb in the same same higher and then you you let no the, you're not uh, ready to put it too high yeah you're only to put it short distance oh yeah, yeah. now no even 45 is too big i'd say only like maybe 10 10 degrees 5 to 10 degrees yeah now look guys when this is swinging left and right it's simple harmonic motion from here to here, where this is minus A and this is A. So all those formulas from the last lesson, you can still use them. Okay, you can yeah. still use them. So if I ask you, for example, how fast is it going after one, one second or whatever, you know, you can still use those formulas. Like what is the maximum acceleration here, it's still a omega squared. It's just that I'm giving you one extra formula. You now have this formula. Is an extra formula for this. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. But all the other formulas you can still use. Like you can still use kinetic energy is a half mv squared. You know, you can still use all those. Yeah. So what we'll do, look. Um, we, I want you to try and do some more of these two lessons. You can do the pendulum now, or you can do simple harmonic motion. Then we're finished mechanics, and the test is on Friday on everything in mechanics. Yes, yeah. this is the whole. S everything we've done is we're finished mechanics now. The whole thing, yeah, up to today is mechanics. And then the next lesson is materials. Where is my pen? It's here, look. Uh, no, look, at the start. You see, it says mechanics, all of this. Oh. Until today. Oh, okay. And then you see, Ben, 
What we do after the holiday is materials, okay. is the next chapter. Yeah. Yeah? Okay, can you try these questions for a few minutes, please? Oh, yeah. Yes? And, uh, a word. A word? Beautiful. What's your word? It's an uh, energy word. Energy word? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe uh, I wrote the wrong, wrong, wrong word. No, that's right. Ionization. I, I, I can't find it in dictionary. Ionization is in chemistry. Isn't it? Yeah, it's chemistry. Ionization uh, in chemistry. Go on, have the, an the, intro. The, yeah. The electron with the electrons. No, no, no. Give them the Chinese word for ionization. Please. Oh, and, uh, <laughs> Ah, 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 yeah, Shay Shay needs time you, I know this. Yeah, this is uh, the only one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Ionization. 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 Yeah. That's what it is. No. Shay Shay, Shay Shay. I have all the Chinese explaining. Okay. No, just, okay. uh, just this one. And uh, this one. Oh, yeah, this one. The second one. Yeah. No, no, in English. What is it? Let's see. A-R-A-R-I-T-A-N. Radiant. Radiant. No, no, no. A-R-A-R-I-T-A-T-I-O. What? A or. Show me. Which word? Oh, it's G. G R A. G. Gravitational. Yeah. Gravity. Gravity. You know gravity? It's a uh, the force. Yeah, it's a force. Oh. Yeah, but but I I, I I don't remember what's the name in, in Chinese the force. So gravity. It's a yeah. Uh, so the gravitational yeah. is means one. But what's the energy like? Yeah, it's what's the energy like? Because just uh, uh, a sense in the mountain and uh, he fall down, it's a yeah. uh, it's a gravitational energy. energy. Yeah. So it's PE. Yeah, it's PE. It, it's PE as well. Yeah. Uh, it's it's the same. Per it's same yeah. Potential energy. Yeah. Okay. That's the only thing I didn't have explained in English. I don't remember, I have to check. I can't remember.